Hello, I'm Saint Castle. Welcome to another video. So in this video, I'm trying to do two different challenges. One, I'm trying to build my first flying machine. And two, I'm attempting to transport a shulker from Nan City to the fountain. I know 100% it can be done, but I don't think a lot of people have tried this route. I've only ever seen other people use a boat and a long path from an end city to an end city gateway. They either use the boat or they use tracks. With this flying machine that I'm trying to build, I will attempt to transport a shulker from an end city to the end fountain. There was a ton of trials and tribulations with this challenge. What didn't help me was my armor having thorns three. So every time I got hit, from a projectile from the shulker the shulker took some damage and there was a couple times where the shulkers would shoot themselves or other shulkers and destroy each other i have one more advancement to get this advancement is hard to achieve and it's known to be one of the toughest to get this infamous advancement is called how did we get here shulkers don't teleport onto slabs so that's what you see me doing in the video right now Putting water on a shulker will have them teleport to another location. You can block shulker projectiles by holding up a shield or attacking them. So that's just for this challenge. If you're trying to get a shulker box to the overworld, I suggest you make a really durable shield. Shulkers can attack each other, so be careful of that. I have lost a lot of shulkers due to that. So... Here's how to build the flying machine. Pretty simple. You're gonna need two observers. You're gonna need four honey blocks and you're gonna need two sticky pistons. First, place your observer like this. Then place your sticky piston like this. Make sure it's facing towards you. Then place two honey blocks like this. Jump on the observer, place another observer on the right side of the honey block. Then another sticky piston facing towards you. You put your last two honey blocks. When a shulker is at less than half health, a shulker has a 25% chance of teleporting after taking damage. Shulkers don't take burning damage from lava, but they do drown when water is poured on them. And with the water being poured on them, they do teleport away. So keep that in mind. Okay, now that we have our flying machine going, all we got to do is follow the shulker, but yeah, I do have a little mishap here and I kind of mess up a few times. So, uh, it's going to take me a few times. This is my first time building a flying machine. It is pretty simple. As you can see, it didn't take me too long to make it. I'm going to find out pretty soon that it works. It's just a little small. What I recommend is that you get yourself extra honey blocks. So that way you have a bigger space to land on if anything goes wrong. If you have extra honey blocks for yourself, you can build yourself a two block high area to basically shield yourself from being seen by the shulker. So that way you can easily just stand there and just wait to get to the fountain. So when you see me land, you're going to see me get stuck. And I'm trying to move back, but I can't. And a little mess up happens here. And I couldn't avoid it. I was coming in too fast I suggest if you're also going for all advancements that you get yourself a seed with an ocean monument at spawn it'll save you a lot of trouble here we go again I'm gonna try this again I'm gonna keep doing this till I get it right honestly I have no idea what happened here this build is still new to me so I'm not sure why it didn't work as in as intended but like i said before i'm gonna keep going until i get this until i complete my goals all right here we go again i don't know what attempt this is but it feels like the 30th time i've tried this it honestly does and i just feel like i'm just failing this build big time i mean everything is good i know how to build it but then yep there it is somehow I guess I didn't put it on the honey block. There I go again, trying to catch this contraption. Because it's like a 
runaway horse. So at some point here, I'm basically gonna have to get it right after failing so much. Because if you fail something too much, there's always that room for improvement or that room for something working correctly out of probability. Remember how I said in the beginning of the video that if you have Thorns 3 on your armor, it's going to be a pain in the arse? Let's hope that this one block of honey makes a big difference later on. Here we go again. Hopefully this uh, this is the one. Hopefully this is the one that, that goes on in, in the record books. Hopefully this is the one I can say that it worked that I did it. I really want to customize this build because I think it could be a lot better than what it is. This is the bare minimum that I'm making, that I have been making. So basically I want this to be a lot better, a lot easier because this is probably not going to be the only time I do this. And if I perfect it, then maybe I can bring in maybe, I don't know, 30 shulkers into the overworld, which would be, which would be kind of crazy to see in a build. Be sure to make sure that your flying machine is pointing towards zero zero when you're building this machine. It does point in two different directions. So the face you put a block on, that's a direction, that's the opposite direction it's gonna go. So keep that in mind. If I did have more honey blocks, uh, I would say about nine more, I would have made this a little bit bigger. I would have took the time and got more honey blocks if i knew it was going to be like this i thought this build was going to be pretty similar to all the other stuff uh where i didn't really need a lot of materials but with this build and with how annoying the shulkers are i wish i would have gotten nine more blocks uh so instead of four i wish I'd, i wish i'd have had nine honey blocks instead of four if i could have made the side with the shulker in the boat a little bit bigger all the other times that the shulker fell off with the boat because it wasn't on the honey block was just annoying and if it was bigger if i had four blocks on the one side then it card it, it probably would have been a lot better than just putting in maybe just two on each side i thought two would be good but uh it was a start messing with the build as long as i did for like i don't know two hours i felt like uh even eight blocks of honey would have been better than four uh four on my side four on their side and i could have made a, a two block high area to hide in so that way the shulker didn't see me so i could just kind of coast all the way towards the fountain at zero zero this is the farthest we've got so far we are basically heading over the void now and i'm nervous at this point i don't want to mess up if i mess up i have to start over if the shulker dies i have to start over i'm trying to get hit by the projectile i don't know how that bullet hit me but it looked like it went through me and then it came around to my back and hit me in the back if i get hit there's a chance this idiot might die so like i don't know how it hit me but there i just fell right on that part right there now I'm just kind of sitting here, just watching all this, trying to anticipate. I'm trying to anticipate this shulker shooting at me because it does shoot like one between one second and five seconds. So it's sometimes it shoots twice. Sometimes it shoots three times. Can this be it? Can I do this? I thought I could place two blocks on top of each other to save myself from being shot at from the shulker. But the momentum of the machine the block ended up staying stationary while the machine kept moving. I keep falling off of this contraption and landing back on it. I'm getting better at that. These shulker bullets are just getting too old to just keep dodging. And there I go again. I'm trying to get myself an area to kind of just stay in there, you know, so that way I could just chill. But I keep, I thought the first time was a glitch, but now I know it's not a glitch. It's basically because the machine's moving too fast for the block to stay there and it's not a sticky piston and it's not a honey block so if i had a honey block i could put it on there and it would stay right if i had a honey block and i put it on there it would stay but i don't have any more 
I, I kind of lost some when I was trying to first make this. I actually broke it a few honey blocks. I, I actually broke a few honey blocks along the way of trying to do this. And some of it, I think I lost about three or four pieces of honey blocks in the void. So uh, I only had five on me. I had to make this work, even though it was a pain in the ass. I got it to work. Uh, kind of weird how the block is moving like that every time it kind of like moves a block the block in front that the block of dirt in front of me just constantly spin it's like spinning it's kind of weird um so for some reason the shulker just stopped shooting and this is what i wanted if i had another block of honey that i could have done this in the beginning and i wouldn't have had so much trials to try to overcome I would have been able to just coast all the way to the fountain. We're going all the way from the end city to the fountain. And it looks like the shulker has calmed down. So now we now we just kind of chill and just kind of just wait to get to zero zero. Or we're, we're going to be close to the fountain pretty soon. We're, we're almost halfway there now because we started at we started at Z 1200. So, uh, yeah, we we went pretty far. I was I was flying and getting hit off the freaking contraption here that we call a flying machine uh, for so long that we were halfway there by the time everything calmed down. This is why I say to get extra honey blocks, get extra honey blocks, it'll make a difference. It really will, trust me. We are now so close. At this point, it's been so long. If I fail this now, it'll be hard to start over. Although I do know where the end city is. All I have to do is go the opposite direction, north, all the way to Z negative 1200. I mean, finding is not the issue. It is getting to this point again. That's the issue. Tension is fading until I see unspeakable. No, not him. If you look at Z coordinate, we're at negative 283. Oh. There it is. We've come so far. We have to complete this challenge. We are so close. All we have to do is drop down on the lair that is higher than the fountain. And we can row this boat in the fountain and shoot it with the bow and arrow. And mission complete. From the beginning of this challenge, I haven't felt this nervous since my first ever speedrun of minecraft this comes at an all-time close on my nervous scale when it comes to minecraft when it comes to playing this game i'm usually not nervous not at all but i am so nervous that i can't think because my head's pounding my head's going at a million miles per second and i'm just like losing my mind because i don't want to mess this up I was thinking to myself right here, please don't die to boat damage. This is the one time I do not want to die to a boat glitch. And here's the moment of truth. <laughs> now the whole time down, my heart was racing and pounding. And I hit the ground and found out that I was alive. I can keep going. I don't have to come back. And we can get this done now, not later. Uh, so. I don't know if you've seen that, but the shulker projectile went through the shulker. Idiot almost ended itself. That's why I stopped, because I thought it was over. <laughs> Here we go. Moment of truth. Let's do this. Let's see if it works. I would have lost my mind if the shulker ended itself right there. Right there, right at the edge of like third, fourth block. Just not too far from the fountain. And there we go. I finally did it. My first time getting a shulker from the end city into the overworld on my first try. Let's go. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Okay. All right. So next up, I have to find the closest ocean monument. And let's hope it is not 3,000 blocks away. 
okay because that would be my luck so now we have to fly around for as long as it takes to find an ocean monument getting the shulker from the end city to the overworld was not the hard part that was actually one of one of the simplest tasks you can do what's next unfortunately is not the end of this challenge it's basically the beginning this is the beginning of this challenge i am doing all of this because i want to get 100 percent advancement i'm so close i think i have only one more left and that's it it is the hardest and most infamous advancement on the list all i need to do is find an ocean monument put my shulker close to that make a little island and get everything ready so next is getting two dolphins tying them off to the island uh one on each side just in case uh two dolphins is better than one we want to make sure we get that uh dolphin effect for sure and then we have to find the closest villager outpost and the closest village we have to make the necessary potions and then we have to get a, a wither flower from the wither so we have to kill the wither one more time and uh hopefully that'll be the last time for that dude we still got to get hero of the village we need to do that we need to get the hero of the village and then after that we need to go back to the villager outpost and then get bad old men there's still a lot to do in this challenge the challenge of 100 percent advancements now that we found an ocean monument you have to find a route from the monument to the zero zero chords which means more flying lots of flying and if i have to i might have to carve a path through a mountain to make a river because i can't stop at all because of the shulker i know the shulker is very low health because i did get hit a few times and i'm pretty sure one more hit one more hit if i'm wearing this armor thorns armor uh i'm gonna take it off later uh but if i get if, if this shulker gets hit one more time it's probably dead and i have to do this all again um granted the second time the second attempt will be a lot better than the first because i know i will need more honey blocks to make this a lot easier so um from the ocean monument to the zero zero chords it's going to be a long one-way boat ride for the shulker and that's going to be its permanent home and there's nothing that little douchebag can do about it unless he dies so here we are i have to make a river through this village to get to zero zero this village will probably be the village that i get a hero of the village i will be making like three or four golems with pumpkins to move this along and not worry about dying so i can get this done quicker now i need a villager outpost close by but that's like saying i need a new speed run 1.16 pb it's just it probably not gonna be that simple for me and i'm not sure how i'm gonna be able to do this um because everything's gonna be far away uh so i would need to fly from point a to point b to point c yeah it's gonna be a pain in the arse for about an hour now, I've been mapping out the best route for the Ocean Monument to the Zero Zero Chords. It feels like forever. If only I had an Ocean Monument at spawn, this next part would be easy. So, for you guys getting all advancements, I would continuously open seeds until you get an Ocean Monument close to your spawn. Before I move my Shulker to the Ocean Monument, I need to find the median for all these structures. So like a midway point so that way it doesn't take too long to get to one place so if i can use one or two rockets to get to all places then it shouldn't be too hard to do what if i move the shulker from zero zero to the ocean monument and it's further away from everything else so i have to do some planning to make sure everything is is about the same reach as everything else so that way everything's closer so it won't take too long to get to each structure at least there's a path from zero zero to the ocean monument so if all else fails us i still have that to go back on and then we can go from there we have come to the conclusion for this video 
if you try this out, let me know in the comments below how it worked out for you. Be sure to subscribe, like, and comment what you thought about this video. Be safe and game on, gamers.